Okay, excellent. Well, thanks for the intro, Chloe. Yeah, we are really excited to be launching um, the University of Portsmouth and Green Tech South latest ERDF funded program, Low Carbon Solent. Um, as Chloe says, we were intending to launch in March and obviously due to other things coming along that wasn't possible so four months later we've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes um, in light of COVID-19 to make sure that we're up and running and in a position now to hit the hit the ground running with presenting this program to the SME community and supporting the shift towards a zero carbon economy. Um, in light of COVID-19, we, you know, really hope that you're with us today and, and you're well. And with regards to your businesses, that you're looking to the future and that you are seeing the potential light at the end of the tunnel. And we're really hoping that today will provide uh, some kind of light at the end of the tunnel for assisting you with your pandemic bounce back and that you'll find that you're motivated by the support that we can help you with to elevate your business actually for future green growth clean growth sorry and thinking about that low and ideally zero carbon economy going forward. So my first slide, um, we're obviously talking about the low carbon solent. Um, this project is uh, looking at ways to work with SMEs. Um, it's University of Portsmouth, who are the lead partner, and the University of Winchester are our partner. Our, our delivery partner and also um, we have clean tech um, green tech south sorry um, and this is the innovation hub based at university of portsmouth and this is really um, our mechanism for delivering the, the project um, so a very brief overview of um, what the project is here to to support smes with um, Rich is going to be going into this in a lot more detail later, but these three bullet points are basically about us um, providing support to SMEs to innovate, um, provide innovation grants for low carbon projects, um, and there's uh, funded at 36% of up to 25 grand. Um, there's access to postgraduate student projects and innovation support and networking events. So this is the support that the Low Carbon Solent Program is intending to provide. And this is me, well, you can't quite see me, but um, I'm Gemma Marchant, Program Manager, um, and my role is um, embedding the program and ensuring that the project outputs are delivered. Um, and as Chloe says, um, there's a team of us working on this um, and we will be working with SMEs to ensure that the support is there behind the scenes to enable um, admin of um, the processes that we all need to follow uh, in order for financial support to be received by the SMEs. So, um, I wanted to put this in there because we are, we're striving to think about climate change and how particularly in the Solent region, we can really have an impact to have a low carbon economy. And ideally going forward, we're, ambitious to pursue a zero carbon economy. Um, and this is all based on, again, you can't quite see the figures there, but we're, we're conscious of the IPCC, which is the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change, the report that was released in 2018, 
that is um, highlighting the need that global warming does not exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius. Um, and I think, you know, this is this is the bad news to the situation that we're all aware of. Climate change has so many impacts to how we live. Um, and this is why we are very interested to bring down greenhouse gas emissions, of which carbon dioxide is one. Um, and the EU, through the European Regional Development Fund, um, particularly Priority Access 4, which is supporting the shift towards the low carbon, a low carbon economy, this is the funding stream that this project is funded through. Um, the ERDF is administered in England via the UK government, particularly MHCLG, um, and the funding is delivered um, at our level through priorities that are set by the 38 local enterprise partnerships, the LEPs. And for us and this project and in our region, this is covered by the Solent LEP. And I know we have representatives from the Solent LEP here today, um, and more information will be covered, I think, by Richard later on in his presentation. Um, so just wanted to give here that local um, context for why this project is important and why we are working towards a low carbon Solent um, economy. Okay. Um, and also at this point, I think this is more of a um, another unfortunate um, product of COVID-19. Um, COP26, which was due to happen in Glasgow at the end of this year, um, as we all know, has been delayed until next year. But I think also for me, when I was putting this presentation together, I think it's about um, the objectives for COP26 next year, which is um, dubbed as the annual climate change conference um, on that global scale um, that is coming to Glasgow, you know, it's coming to the UK. Um, and the ambition for that is really to identify countries making commitments towards cutting carbon emissions by 2030 and also thinking about the ambition of having net zero emissions as soon as possible. Um, and recently, 29th of June, there was a Council for Sustainable Business um, event and five particular areas were highlighted. Clean energy, clean transport, nature-based solutions, adapt, ad, adaptation and resilience, and then tying the whole thing together with finance. And for me, what we're trying to do with co low carbon solar um, and the objectives that we're setting for working with SMEs within the, the Solent LEP area, um, I really think that there's similarities um, with the objectives of COP26 that we should really be highlighting and um, getting messages out there of the work that we haven't started yet, but we're in a really good position to start supporting SMEs in, in this region. And SMEs are the backbone of the British economy. So, you know, it would be great to keep an eye on how COP26 develops for next year and how we can publicise and promote the work that we're going to be doing in, in, in our region. That was me um, kind of thinking more nationally about um, climate change as well. So then coming back to our project, Low Carbon Solent, um, as I said before, University of Portsmouth are the lead partner. Um, we recently um, have launched our mission, sorry, our strategy and our vision that takes us up to 2030. Um, and in this, we're very, very keen to develop research, innovation and education um, to solve some of society's key challenges and obviously um, climate change and all of the impacts um, surrounding that are very key to everyone's um, thinking. 
um, Green Tech South, the delivery partner, um, as probably a lot of you um, have come across, um, very tuned in to um, technology and innovation, working within um, the South region, um, particularly along the Solent coast. Um, and Green Tech South is really engaged with um, partner contributions and working together across um, academia, um, SMEs and the corporate um, environments as well. So really, really well placed for delivering this project. Um, and also a delivery partner is the University of Winchester, who are providing that strategic guidance to us um, with regards to um, across the board, really, but looking at um, innovation grants and those projects that we're really looking forward to. Um, Richard getting out as the business development manager and talking to SMEs about what ideas and projects um, we can potentially support with you going forward. And University of Winchester are going to be um, providing support to the project going forward with that. So that's our team and how the project partners are set up. Um, and then I wanted to finish with this, and it's um, an image of, yes, we are working within the background of climate change and potential um, negative impacts that that may provide, um, unfortunately, but the low carbon sodium is here and we're looking at opportunities for solutions to those problems that we know are here. Um, so I'm really keen for it to be um, working with you and understanding your ideas and how we can look at opportunities for providing solutions um, through low carbon solar. So thanks very much for your time. And I will now pass over to Richard. Thanks, guys.